Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Sarge, man, here at 643 Stockton Street. We're waiting on the ladies to come in, man, so we can do their intro and launch these ladies out on their I-10 to the end. Social experiment, each one teach one, man. So y'all hang in there. We got a lot to talk about. Peace. social experiment because what are you doing is you're teaching us how to do what you're doing in real time. You're making yourself vulnerable, you're explaining things that doesn't happen good with you, things that happens great with you, and you're sharing that with us to learn to become a better long distance motorcycle rider. So that really is the social experiment in a nutshell. Now on the social experiment, what happens? Nothing special. You're riding and you're telling us about what's going on in the highway. If there's a construction issue at a gas station, I'm just gonna ask you to pull out your phone. You don't have to go live and none of that stuff. Shoot us a 15 second, 25 second video. Hey, the construction looks like this in Beaumont. You guys might wanna watch out. What's good, everybody? This is your boy Sarge asking you to support the platform. I-10, end to end, coast to coast, the social experiment, home of each one teach one, where we keep it motorcycling, you dig? Also, shoot us a text on the line. You can do a caption, you can do a text to say, these are the things you need to take a look at, these are the things you need to be concerned about, blah, blah, blah. Take a picture of yourself at the gas station and post it. You're good to go. Also, I'll tell you this, it's your social experiment. You can post as many times as you want. I just say this, if a tree fell in the woods and nobody was there, did it make a sound? We don't give a damn if it did anyway, nobody was there. So if your ride is like SEAL Team 6 and you're going all clandestine, you ain't doing us a bit of good. So I'm saying this, please understand your ride is not only for you, it's for us as well. So understand, you can post a couple times a day, you can post more than that, whatever you got time to do. Also, I've got some riders, they'll post when they they start in the morning and they'll give us a brief summary of what's going on and what they've been through. And then at night when they check in their hotel, they'll pull out their phone as well and do us a couple, couple whatever and say hey y'all we done for tonight i'm gonna ask you this on the 10 on the 10 stay on the 10 it's easy you don't even need gps for this all you need to do is keep going that way and don't get off there's a couple of places where you can get messed up at now you from lafayette right and the clean what's that little who what y'all eating in lafayette it's just because i'm in dallas oh okay okay yeah. so on the 10, a couple things to be concerned with. Now, when you're getting ready to get into Louisiana, you're getting ready to get to closing into New Orleans, it's going to want to take you to 12 through Haman. Do not take the 12. It's going to want to give you a convenient base, way, especially if you're using GPS, to shoot you above New Orleans instead of going under New Orleans. If you miss New Orleans and went through Louisiana, that ain't good. That ain't good. You'll have to turn back around and redo it. So please stay on the 10. Redo it from where? you have to redo it where you got off at. 
Oh, so you, you gotta go that back. Loop and you gotta go back and repeat that. That's when I'll really start focusing in on your ride when you're in Louisiana to ensure that you're gonna do it the right way. Also, I think maybe there's a couple of times in San Antonio, the 610, it can get you messed up a little bit. You have to get out there and attention. But for the most part, the 10 is gonna be pretty solid. Once you get into California, especially LA, if you're using Waze or you're using MapQuest or whatever, it's gonna to wanna to divert you around traffic, detours, those type of things. You cannot do it. Do not follow the GPS in LA. You have to follow the 10 sign. And the way you know you made it to the end of the 10 sign, you're gonna get there at Santa Monica Pier, you're gonna go up, and it's gonna say end of highway. That means end of I-10. Then from there, it's gonna shoot you right on to Santa Monica, the, 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 the beach itself. We'll go two blocks up, it's gonna put you in Santa Monica Pier. You're gonna cross from, I believe it's uh, the Lobster Restaurant. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, once you get to Santa Monica Pier, uh, it comes to the market, the, the, the banner, uh, I'm going to say this, is that understand uh, there's not a lot of parking up in there, and the parking is expensive. I'm going to tell you this. If I were you, I'm going to take my bike up there real quick. I'm going to act like I don't know, understand. I don't have no English. I'm going to get my bike up there. I'm going to take my picture real fast, and I'm going to get out of there. So Tip is the bike up in the picture is required? No. Okay. You're in the picture. That's the only thing that's required. Okay. A lot of us, because we like to stunt. So we're going to bring our, our, our <laughs> motorcycle there, and we're going to take our picture. That's exactly how I did. Typically, they're not going to mess with you. Police are not going to mess with you up there. Get in here, take your picture, and get out. Now don't park your bike and start dancing and playing music and all that. Don't do all that stuff. But that should be good to go. If you have to get off the tent for some reason, please let me know ahead of time what's going on. That's not a problem. You divert off the tent. If there's a detour or whatever, let's force you that way. And then when you get back from the tent, no problem, you'll know. I'm not going to hold that against you guys. Now, now where we're bedded down at. I don't uh -huh. have to tell you where we're bedded down to. You don't have to tell back. me. Well, Glimpse is going to tell me where you're bedded down at. Right. But this is what I ask you to do. When you're done pounding for tonight, or the next night, or the next night, please shoot me a text or an inbox and say, Sarge, we're kickstands down for the night. Because typically, I'll try to stay up as long as I can where I know I got bikers that are on the highway. Now, if you do night crawling, you're on your own. I ain't staying up all night with your <laughs> night crawling. Now, I normally shut it down at 1.30 in the morning. Because when I get home from work, the wife will tell you, I take a shower. I start nodding about 15 minutes later. And by then, it's about 1 o'clock. And I'm tapping all the way out. So please, when you're done for the night, shoot me a text or an inbox and say, Sarge, we're down for the night. Good to go. Now it's time for you to get back up in the morning and get it pushing again. Sarge, kick stands up, we're rolling. And so now I'm going to kind of fixate on what you guys are doing. Any questions so far on the IT or the social experiment? It's easy, breezy. It's so easy. I'm telling you, there's nothing to it. I would say you can't mess it up, but you can't. You can't mess it up, but you got to be trying. Hey, my only goal is to be doing the technique. <laughs> if you do something, uh, if you, you do know something, yeah, right, Carl, right, uh -huh. you Carl, this is for you. <laughs> your ride gonna be four days. Or you gonna have to get his patch. Until yeah. I got here, yeah, so now that up. I'm here, for I'm sure. gonna talk. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I'm, I give you up to seven days to make the ride. Not because this is some time ride that's a competition ride. I include things in like weather, uh, medical emergencies, uh, illness, uh, like maintenance issues, I include all those things because a maintenance issue is a each one, teach one moment. If a certain situation, God forbid, if a bike needs to go back, go in for service, I want you to be able to talk about it on your video when you post, hey man, my bike had this issue, so I degraded it already, and I had to get something looked at or something tight up on it. That is a teachable moment. Hey. You saw that geese? Geese was going to cause I-10 today. Oh, hey, hey, you ain't seen nothing. I'm there out there on Oceanville Forest. Please, as you're taking out the first 30 miles outside of the city limits, or 38 miles of city forest, goes almost to the uh, 75 tier uh, intersection. Just be very careful out there. That's probably about the only time you're gonna have to really, you gotta really be uh, uh, alert with what, what's going on across that uh, highway during that time frame. As you get past Tallahassee, of course, y'all know it opens up and get a little bit of distance. But by the end, hopefully tomorrow, y'all have a lot of daylight and a great ride. Any questions of me at all, ladies, about? The I-10 to the end, the rules, that type of stuff. Okay. That's what's up. So I done told the ladies the instructions. They ready to go. 
This is the Texas ve Female Veterans Army. The, the Texas Army Veteran Female. <laughs> I'm pressing this back up. So what I'm gonna let it? you tell us. Okay. This is the Texas Women Army Veteran Edition. Texas Women Army Edition. Damn it, get it right, Sarge. I was in the Marine Corps. I don't know. But they finna do their thing. What I want you guys to do for me, please, is let's cheer for them. Let's support them. Let's pray for them, most importantly. And oh, by the way, they got some nice fights. Hey, shoot them a cash out for a tank of gas every once in a while. And in the meantime and in between time, can y'all keep it motorcycling for us? You dig?